Another week I have to sit through more fucking episodes of B-Fighter. What have you done yeah. to us, Scar? Why? <laughs> what have you done? It, 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 it makes a... me feel like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how all three of you mentioned that to me this week, where it's like, I am so sick of B-Fighter, and like, yeah, so were we when we were watching it. <laughs> no one made you do that. You decided that, and then you decided it for us. Uh oh, trust me. I'm still trying to get yeah. over hearing St. Papilia. <laughs> you, you know what, Ichi? Hang on to that quote later. I'm starting to seriously reconsider the decision of giving you full control over the feature topic <laughs> schedule. Only just now? <laughs> we could have been more. Listen, I do so work. much back end shit for this show every week. I dedicate literally my entire Friday after work. To recording, editing, uploading, scheduling, thumbnailing, writing the descriptions, filling out the discussion index, all of that back-end shit. I'm sorry if I need to delegate one part of the show to someone else. And you picked Gar. He's the <laughs> Philip of this show! I trust him to know what we should watch! Oh, that's like the nicest compliment I've gotten this week. Does that make you Terrence? Not uh, that, Philip! <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, cue the roll call? Connect. Loading. Broadcast. Perfect. Show running super savant. Level up. Bluecaster super Ichi. Loud and online. Greycaster Robo Lane. Researcher of the Tokuverse. Yellowcaster Ultra Guard. Return of the source material. Greencaster Zenshin. Combining comedy and critique. On air since 2014. Radio Sentai! Cast Welcome to Radio Sentai Cast Ranger episode 508. It's episode of Stoutland. Stoutland. It's Stoutland. episode Stoutland. Big Hairy Dog. Oh, episode yeah, Furry Entei. <laughs> when I, legit, when I first saw it, I'm like, that's just Entei. He needs extra like, fur. He needs non fiery like NJ. He needs like a detective hat on and like a monocle and just call it Detective Stoutland. It's normal type NJ. Elementary, my dear Bill. Detective Stoutland. Yeah, this detective this is what happens when Ho uh, resurrected an Eevee and sent the fire on. That is NJ at home. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's ears do kind of look like Eevee. <laughs> it's, it's just an overgrown Eevee. <laughs> Anyways, welcome everybody. Uh, Emily's at Disney World, so she'll be there for the rest of the month pretty much. And uh, Paul's here. Hi, Paul. I'm here. It's Paul! It's Paul! He had to catch up on four weeks of episodes! <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> All right, we are here. We're a bunch of hairy, non-fiery dogs that get together every week to talk about Comrade Super Sentai and a third thing. Uh. The topics for this week are Gav, Episode 7, Boon Boonger, Episode 33, and B-Fighter, Episodes 45, 46, and 47. A.K.A. Takia just spending three episodes just brooding and walking. Lots of fucking walking! <laughs> so much fucking walking! I'm sitting here watching this and I was like, when the fuck did Beetleborgs become the 1980s Hulk show? <laughs> oh, that's my favorite. That's my favorite form of when Paul gets angry. Just, just cut to the fucking recent Tom Carty song about the Lord of the Rings movie. They walk, 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 walk. Attacked by twees. Three episodes. Three episodes walking around, walking around the fucking nowhere. Nice Here's the first episode. Here's the second episode. You ready for the third episode? Grabs the bonder. <laughs> fucking a. Drops the beetle bonder in Mount Doom. Even the music got replayed in those episodes. Oh yeah. Half of the time I was like, are we watching a clip show? There was there were like, several clip shows. Like, several. Last, 
the last three episodes that we just kept hearing Saint Papilia, Saint Papilia, and this the three ep- set of three episodes was just Dakia, Dakia, Dakia. And I'm like, shut up. <laughs> More like B Walker. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just I can't go, I'm so fucking mad you guys are I'm just like, like I watched this shit at like That's 9 it. in the morning I it at 9 in the morning I worked like a 10 hour shift the day before and I was just like so tired and I'm just sitting there being like god just one more week of this shit <laughs> the That's worst it. part is suit work is great like the suit work is really, really good. The suits are the only good thing in the show. <laughs> Everything else is terrible. And I can see. I think I like. I can narratively speaking, I see where they're going with this shit. <laughs> yeah, you see where they're going because they're spending so much time walking towards it. I feel like B Fighter Kabuto so was poorly much executed. This is not a skilled enough team to be able to pull off a sh- to pull off this show. <laughs> Because the oh, shots hey, well, like are competently shot, but they're not very well edited. Anyways, we're not even in that section of this episode yet, so <sighs> let's save the rest of our bullshit complaints yeah, for later. We're like, be failure, be failure. <laughs> Thank God, Gavin Boomboonger fucking cooked this week. <laughs> yeah. So hard. Why wow, right. cook so well? They exploded. Yep. Oh. All right, let's get into uh, news. Days about news mode. So most important thing is an update related to the upcoming Gotchard graduation uh, V yep. Cinema. Yep. Uh, because not only do we have a bunch of returning guest stars, including the two comedians played by the Don brothers and Reina, the romantic interest, but fuck all that, Boruto's back! <laughs> fuck yeah. Yeah! <laughs> My so- boy! <laughs> so, fu- funny thing. I was on social, so for those that are listening, I was on social media for five days straight. So I would just get random notifications on my phone because I had my Wi Fi on still. Mm-hmm. And all I saw in full caps in the Cast Ranger group chat was Boruto is back. <laughs> and in my head, I'm thinking. You're thinking Naruto Boruto? No, 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 I'm thinking. Did we call Kamen Rider Ken's on Boruto? <laughs> I mean, I guess he is back to the insiders. And then I, I, like, I, instead of checking social outsiders? media, I checked the actual news sites. Yeah. And I saw the graduation thing. It's, you know, Shoga Amo is bored. I'm like, oh, this is what Ichi was talking. Yeah. <laughs> Love the most. And then they never did anything with ever again until now. I'm so happy. I'm so, ex- I'm now officially excited for this movie. <laughs> he looks pissed. Exactly. He should be. <laughs> I was only I really, in one episode? Fuck this. I really, really want him to just, like, they do the same joke again where he just goes to Spanner and Spanner's like, Who the are fuck you? are you? <laughs> you ruined my life! I don't even know you. I don't even know who you are, man. <laughs> I'm gonna get revenge! Dude, I seriously don't know who you are. Wait, aren't you Drummer? Drummer? No, I'm Spanner. Oh, whoops! Wrong guy. <laughs> just, he's been, he's just, yeah, he's just been like really pissed off with the wrong person. Yeah. Um. So yeah, a Boruto's back, Reina's back, and then the Takahashi comedy duo is back, played by Sonoza and Kijino from Don Brothers. Hey. Someone, in our, someone in our live chat just mentioned these are definitely high school age people, and I'm just like, if this was the 1980s and 90s, yes. Yeah. That's uh, literally, like literally, literally I just want like for the rest of time in any like Toku show, I just want someone from Don Brothers to just make a cameo. Even <laughs> just haunt just me to, just forever. Me off. Exactly. Just to piss I don't me even off. care. I'm so happy that Boruto's back that I don't care about the Don Brother cameo. <laughs> So it's funny. We were, uh, I've been listening to like uh, Cast Ranger episodes where like we're we're just like finishing off Zenkaiju and we just talked about like uh, the Dawn Brothers like announcement. Man, Ichi just was not looking forward to it from like day zero. It oh, was yeah. amazing. <laughs> from the prelude, he was not excited. Yeah, me and Gar are just like like me, Gar and Emily are just like this is gonna be fun as hell. <laughs> and I'm like, they look stupid, and they were. <laughs> Show is peak. Uh, but that, uh, yeah, but downward that's not peak. All. 
Uh, but that's not all. We'll also be getting a uh, a short special called Hopper One's Spring Vacation. So I'm just picturing Pikachu's vacation. That's the co- That's what everyone's saying. Gotcha's <laughs> doing their own Pikachu vacation special. <laughs> Where um, apparently all the chemists that did have voices, like their own unique voices, will be speaking in Japanese with their respective voice actors. Yep. Does that mean that we're going to be getting a cameo from one of the new Johto chemists? <gasps> Are we going to get to meet Pika Blue? <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, inc- the chemis I mean... included in this special are Hopper One, Steamliner, Nijigand, Cross Wizard, X Fortress, Sabo Needle, Paku Raptor, and Smaphone. Astonishing. Hopper Blue, yeah, there you go. I just realized in the second photo where it shows the chemis, I'm like, and then there's the little dinky Steamliner toy. Yeah. <laughs> it's so tiny. Yep. Uh, oh, uh, Tomokazu Sugi. Tomokasu Sugita as Cross Fortress? That's fucking awesome. Or 10 Fortress. X for- I forget how you... It's X. written as X, but it's pronounced differently for every one of them. It's just called Fortress. Yeah, 10, 10 Fortress. Fortress. Oh, okay. Sugita as 10 Fortress, the voice of Kivat? Fucking awesome. My favorite voice actor as my favorite Kemi. <laughs> so yeah, uh, the film will feature them basically this... Like, discovering the new Earth, I guess that's what we're also going to call it. Yeah, li- they're living on uh, Earth 2, the zoo. La 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 la, sing our cami song. <laughs> la 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 la, where no con. I- I'm giving up on that one. Okay. <laughs> but now I just kind of want a Gargamel one where it's like, I gotta catch me, I gotta catch the chemis. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta catch these chemis. Chemi got parents! Can you imagine it's like we've left the chemis alone for like 10 minutes on this new planet and they've already gone full woodland critter Christmas, hail Satan, blood sacrifice. <laughs> hail Garion! <laughs> so it looks like, they, like, were, it looks like, like they were like evil bastards the whole time. Yeah. So it looks it looks like we have Godzilla's newest uh, foe he's gonna be fighting next. <laughs> I votes for Chicago. Chicago. Godzilla versus Chicago. This looks like like the. Wait, is this a series? Godzilla versus America. It's just gonna be a bunch of people throwing hot dogs at it. Don't serious. It's a series of Godzilla fighting major American cities. I want one in Seattle, and I need my Frasier reference. (laughs) Hope he doesn't have a fight in New York. Uh. Oh no, that's gonna be the end. It's going to be yeah, set in 2001 be the before the you-know-what. No, I wasn't trying to make the joke. <laughs> anyway. It's going to happen. Anyway, so you go, Barto's back. Cool. Good uh, film will be written by Takahito Onishi, who worked on Star Wars Visions, who previously Ooh. wrote the Gotchard Hyper Battle DVD, along with Gotchard co-head writer Hiroki Uchida supervising the scripts. Hiroshi Takaki will compose the music. Hirofumi Fukuzawa is, again, the action director. Kyohei Yamaguchi, who directed 10 episodes of the series and the Gotcha Nagits crossover film, will direct this film, and Back On will be performing the film's theme song, Graduation. Yay. As we gotcha we remember. We revise. We don't remember anything because our minds got wiped. All the cards we bought together. <laughs> Oh, oh, like actually, you know what? You know what? Speaking, speaking of which, I was like, I know you're going to segue this into another pack. Of- okay. You know what? Segway, yeah, I bought a phase four pack. Cool. <laughs> I didn't open them yet. Because I, cause I opened them on stream. Because I don't know what the fuck they are. Right, uh, Slightly relevant, I, 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 I recently, this past week, discovered the existence of, so you know those, like, simulator games? Now there's apparently Trading Card Game Shop Simulator. Oh, yes, it's been, like, popping off so hard. You can not only run and, like, build and run a card game shop, but you can actually take the packs that you're supposed to sell and open them yourself in search of rare cards for not only your personal collection, but to also sell for profit. Godzilla versus Philly. He'll be dead within an hour. (laughs) I love in our chat, people are just talking about various American cities that would just solo Godzilla. (laughs) Godzilla versus Texas. They'd barbecue it. (laughs) 
That's a clean yeah. burning kaiju, I tell you what. <laughs> Los Angeles, you died, he died to an earthquake. Can you imagine Han like Godzilla, but with like Hank Hill shooped onto his face? <laughs> and then with Ma no, Ma Manila with Bobby's face? Yeah. It's not it's not atomic oh, breath. I mean, he already breath. has Bobby's face. Kind of. He does. Damn, he does damn it, guys. I only want Hank Hill to voice fucking Godzilla. Hank Hill? Oh. Hank Hill? God dang it, Rodan. <laughs> <laughs> Them humans ain't right. <laughs> moving on. Yeah. Mo mo moving on. Look at Ghidorah comes along. I kill Phoebe. <laughs> uh, so I don't know if we have names for all for some of these yet, but they announced another pack of Gochizo. Uh, so we have oh. the we finally have the cookie Gochizo, and it's hilarious okay. as fuck because when it's you the open best it. One ever. The eyes that were in the close form are actually its fucking feet when it opens up. It's hilarious. It's, um, it, it, it is a picky. Then, uh, then we have another like chocolate variant that apparently has some sort of like dinosaur skeleton on it. Oh yeah, no wait. So, so this is a brand of chocolate because I've seen the commercials when I'm watching like uh, Gav, like uh, my uh, like the raw episode. Uh, episode. So it's a chocolate that has like a dinosaur skeleton in the middle of it, and you have to like break off the pieces to get to like the the skeleton of the oh, dinosaur. Cool. So, so we made so like the community and like the Discord have been like, oh man, wouldn't it be funny if they made like a Gojizo based off of that? There and it is. There it is. <laughs> So, according to oh. Decker in the chat, it's called Chatapaki Excavation Dinosaur Chocolate. Is that the name of the Gochizo? Because I don't think it's in English on the box. Wait, 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 wait. The cookie's actually called Kukiki? That's amazing. I have, I'm getting this fucking Gochizo. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I know Cell is super excited about this dinosaur chocolate one. And the you Hell can yeah. see the gal form on it. It's like a variant of Chocodon, and it looks pretty awesome. Mm. Almost like an archaeologist yeah. hat. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we have the cookie, we have the dino chocolate, and then part of this same set is also Ryder Gochizos for Ryuki, Wizard, Revi, and Vice. I, I need this set. It has all my favorite riders in it. I love the wizard. And it has the cookie are, Gochizo. Yeah. All the wizard's arms are like gems. crystals. <laughs> They're gems. That's yep. cool. I, I, how much is it? $78? It's what on Toe Collectibles for 78 US. No, you know what? Order it through Dave. He'll get you a better, better price. That's Did what you? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Seventy-eight. Like, no way. Yeah. I'm you know what, this cookie goji, though. Yeah, you know, let's, so let's do the math. Let's do the math. Okay. I, I kind of want the cookie goji, though. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's hilarious. So, yeah. so that's so kiki. So you're basically buying how much? How much is a regular goji, though? Like a DX goji, though. I mean, they come in sets, so they're usually, I think, like, like they're, like, $15, $20. I mean, you say 15, DX, 20. I don't think there are any non-DX ones. Uh, yeah, there's all... Kenny Toy Gash ones. Oh, are there ones? I don't yeah, know how you can go toys. lower in mechanical quality from these. Uh, so, so, anyways, you're basically, it's $13 a Gochizo if it's $78. Oh, yeah, these are the SG Rider ones. So yeah, these are non-DX. Yeah, and a lot of the, the, the lot of the ones you have to like apply the stickers and shit yourself. Oh yeah, that's the trade off. Dude, I'm good with stickers. I am Yeah, I would be fine with I, putting my own stickers on. I might like contact Dave. Yeah, I'm i I'm getting this cookie goji so I love how much he doesn't give a fuck and he just kicks you. <laughs> a nice crazy. little touch I'm noticing. If you look at the Revi and Vice ones, you know how they have the logos on the top? So yeah. they're styled after the Revice logo, but they do individually say Comrade Revi and Comrade Vice. Oh, they do. Oh, that's cute. That's a neat touch. Also, I like, I like with the Vice one, when you open it up, it looks like his demon form. Yep. And I love yeah. on the Revi one, you can see the jawline on Revi's helmet when it's open. Yeah, that's great. That's nice. I, I miss those two. I want the Blades one, damn it! It's I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad Vice is still dead. More? Yes, people have hacked the belt, and I've heard the sound. No, oh, trust me, Gar. I'm also happy Vice is still dead. <laughs> wow. For, for well, all no, the good okay. reasons. Like, like, I mean, for like story reasons, because like he did go out like you know beautifully, but yeah, yeah. like I do miss Vice. <laughs> I do miss him. All right. Uh, so, yeah. speak, speak, 
<laughs> Blade. That's Blade, Decker. Very close. <laughs> uh, next. So this week, the Boon Boonger's Champion Superforms debuted, and as expected, the jackets are actual merch you can purchase. If you have a cool, so cool. $500 US lying around. Cool. Oh, they're so cool. Cool. Uh, they come in. Do they, do they activate the power so? Uh, no. You'll have to find out when you buy one. I don't want to buy one. They are made it's of 100 percent polyester and come in three sizes: women's large, men's large, and men's extra large. Keeping in mind those are Japanese sizes. If they were, yeah, they probably want to go for extra extra large jackets. I could justify that price. I would even say that's a reasonable price. Those are just polyester shells, though. They are that is not worth it. They do no, come in all five colors. It, mm-hmm, so. If I could get a blue version of blues that would be my size, it would be literally already on my shoulders. Oh no! Oh no! Like like five hundred each. I know. Yeah. Yeah. You just actually pick, hang on. Pick, pick your pick your color, pick your size, and then you pre-order it. Oh, it's so cool. I wonder nice. when they'll be in. I wonder when they'll end up on the hair on the heritage auction site. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when Sentai finally goes under. <laughs> it's funny because today I was actually looking at purchasing a, 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 a new Ichi utility vest. Oh. I, I thought you were going to mention the Power Rangers freaking. No. <laughs> Power yeah, Rangers auction. These jackets thing. are almost $700 Canadian. God. <laughs> <You could, laughs> as I always say, you could probably make one for oh, cheaper. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. 100%. Get a talented enough tailor and sure. All right, very cool. Moving on. Uh, in some not so great news, uh, we have an update on Junya Ikeda, who played Gokai Silver, uh, was recently involved in a fraud case a year ago. Uh, apparently, he has been found guilty of this fraud case and has now been sentenced to jail for three years. Wow. Well, he has stated that well, he has no relatives or family to rely on, and he has no savings and is homeless. Jesus Christ! <laughs> what happened, guy? <laughs> uh, Nothing happened, the guy. He committed fraud, is what happened, apparently. He could... well, uh, I guess that's the last we'll ever see a Gokai Silver, then. Probably. <laughs> a real fucking shame, because, like, we, we've always been saying that he's, like, one of the best Sixth Rangers, but just, like, fuck, man. Wow. Okay. I, I, I scrolled down. Yeah, I'm reading this next part. He stated in a situation where he is fighting alone, but he never gave up because of the fans who are waiting for his return. In one final request, he's asking fans to send him letters. He knows it's a shameless request, but he needs the support to start again. He's confirmed that his acting career is over and wants to start again after his sentence is over. Uh, He wants the letters sent to where he's currently being detained and addressed to his real name, Jun Shimogaito. Hmm. Like, fraud, fraud's a broad term. It comes in all shapes and sizes in terms of the law. Um, I don't know what this guy did. I didn't look into it. But three years isn't that bad. I mean, like, once he, once he, pays, his, once he pays his dues, he'll be fine. He's, he'll come out of this better. The noise was Paul dropping his phone. Yes, it was on my leg. Uh, but yeah. Uh, no, he'll be all right. He'll, he'll, come out of this, he'll come out of this a stronger person, I think. I'm sure he'll, he'll find a silver lining somewhere. That's... Trying not to. Okay. This is a man's life. <laughs> anyway, that's the news. Yeah. Let's talk about Gav. All right. Yep. The He's... best and funniest scene in this whole fucking show happens right at the top of this episode. Oh no, Shoma and Honto are fucking dorks, and I love them so yes. goddamn the much. The dynamic between these two is what's keeping me sane through the rest of the bullshit that is this show. I'm literally watching this like, just kiss you two. Come on. <laughs> also, because of this episode, I I I, I got this screenshot. Just, okay, I don't. What do you that- think- <laughs> that must be some sort of Japanese language or culture reference that I'm not getting. I genuinely don't understand the connection between chocolate and guns. I just like I saw him say, "When you think of chocolate, you think guns," and I'm like, "Well, I fucking do now." <laughs> but why? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, apparently these two have been very friendly, like behind the scenes. 
Yeah, no, I, yeah, just, just just kiss already. We're fine with it. I just love the idea that, like, so Gav walks up onto the roof and Valen's just, like, standing there brooding while leaning over the railing in suit. Like, he hasn't even unhensioned yet. It's it's because Honto doesn't know how to, how to demorph. The engine. <laughs> it's just literally his first time. I mean, he doesn't know how. <laughs> One would think it would seem pretty obvious if he clicked it close to Henshin, he just has to click it back to bug back. So, yeah, so just this whole thing where it's like they're trying to like establish like who the fuck they are. And just like they have these like inner inner versions of themselves where just like they're freaking the fuck out because they don't want to find out. So we, we basically find out like they name each other. This so, is where the like, two writers come up with their writer names because they're masking their identities from each other, and it's so hilarious. Chocolate Man. I love y'all has all these names, so he could have been Common Rider Choco, Common Rider Coco, Cacao, Bitter, Bar Choco, Valentine, Raw Choco, or Chocola. <laughs> so he, one of the things he comes up with is Valentine, and then in just a snap decision... With the same effort it would take to snap pieces of chocolate into pieces, he snaps yep. the word Valentine into Valen, with and that's the, where Common Rider Valen comes from. With all the same so energy as a P. T. Griffin. Griffin. <laughs> yeah, Peter yeah. Griffin. Peter Griffin. So yeah, yeah, everyone was like, "Why is he called Common Rider Valen?" And I was like, "Cause Valentine's Day, chocolate." Yeah. And I was right. <laughs> Meanwhile, so. Valen refers to Shoma as Akagav because that's what everyone else has been calling him, and he just decides to call himself Gav. That's the equivalent of. Gav. We'll go without the red. <laughs> so he named himself after his body organ. So. Yep. <laughs> his body organ. Yeah, the Gav on him is a bodily organ of his people. Oh, no, yeah, I it's get it. Just weird way to say body he organ. He might as well have named himself Common Rider Penis. Common Rider Spleen. Common <laughs> uh, Rider Kidneys. Common Rider Pancreatus. What's nicest too is they have like an establishment where he's like, oh, like, what are, do you, it's like, what do you, do you attack humans or whatever? And he goes, no, I, I fight, I eliminate Granutes and stuff. And he's like, and like, Shoma's like, oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah, so they both so, learned that each other, both, they both learn that the other one has been modified in some way, but of course, neither of them has the full context, so now we have that trope that I really fucking hate, where they make misassumptions based on not having enough context, and now we have to deal with that until the two of them have a proper fucking conversation. Well, yeah, because Gav did just, he just straight out said to Val, and he's just like, he's like, I'm just not gonna ask any more questions. <laughs> At one point, he's like, wait, is that my Gochizo? And Val changes the topic and then gets away with it, and they don't bring it up again. I mean, he's like, holy. No. Did you rob me? Dr. Sugar walked right up and just yoinked him and went, whoa! Oh, back. Got away with it. never. Oh, okay. So Decker, I want to make a, I want to make a separate, uh, separate count. Uh, so with the Goji so death count, I also because the, I was watching the episode and Sh Dr. Sugar gives him like the other four Choco Don Goji Zos, and he's like, here, use these like they're they're limited, so just use them wisely. So now I want to keep a counter of every Choco Don that that Val goes through we won't do domaru or whatever because that's just gonna be too much to handle but every choco dog i was gonna say through, so, so we, we just now we're just like zirino style keeping what? an inventory of how many gochizos valen stolen from gav yeah that's a lot of extra trouble and killed oh, wow. lane if you want to do it go right ahead <laughs> I guess How many I could, lobotomies but... have happened in this show so far? Well, to no, be fair, the only one, the only one that was lobotomized was the one Choco Dan that he turned into the gun. Oh, no, but I, I don't know about that because I, I think, I think if he took the other four Choco Dons that were on ice, I, they might have like gotten ran away. So I think literally every time Doctor Sugar gets one of these Gojizos, he lobotomizes them so they can't like run away <laughs> no but they when they, when he when valen transforms they still like open up and go yeah like they're yeah, still reacting yeah, when you're lobotom you're lobotomized you can still fucking react yeah. and shit you're just yeah. you're just brain dead you're just uh yeah. i mean mm. his his thing is literally an electric chair it's sending electrical charges through its body so its nerves twitch yeah so <laughs> i think i think all 
all the Choco Dons he uses are lobotomized. <laughs> or at least being cryogenically frozen in that ice box he was keeping. Oh, it's great. I love it. <laughs> it's so fucked up. <laughs> I love Do this thing. you freeze your chocolate bars? Tell us if you <laughs> Sometimes. No, I put I put my chocolate in the fridge. Sometimes I do. Yeah. Shit makes me snappy. Uh, we uh, also got an introduction to the Gav phone that Uncle yeah. Dente made. Old Uncle Dente. It was horrifying watching Uncle Dente's jaw unhinge as he not only consumes everything Shoma gave him, but also the bags. Yes. <laughs> and then ate the bag! But yeah, so this Gav reference. phone he made, apparently you put a Gojizo on it, and then it literally can show you everything that the, the Gojizo has experienced. In its, By in its vomiting its juice out of its eyes! Yes. Why does everything <laughs> in this show have to be body horror? Because that's what this show is, man. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Why does it all have to involve mistreatment of tiny, adorable creatures? Because it's oh. funny. Also, holy fuck, the main thing. You're gonna make you Gojitarian. <laughs> You're gonna give Maison up all snacks. Also, the Maison Gojizo is actually a thing. <laughs> Shoma literally built the fucking cardboard house, the Maison Gojizo. <laughs> Dear sweet God. Oh, yeah, this was great, too. Like, so Hanto shows up because he's like, wants to see Sachika about like any updates about like, have. <laughs> And then like, oh fuck, like, he's researching me. Yeah. And then like, Honto just goes, "Wait, I'm a common writer now. They might look up and try to research, investigate me." Oh fuck, I can't let this happen anymore. <laughs> I, I love the. <laughs> Who are you? I'm her boyfriend. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> so they're being awkward with each other, and it's fucking adorable. Like I said, these two are fucking dorks. I love them. <laughs> yep. So, no, he's uh, not a dork. Sachika. Sachika's okay. Yeah, he's kind of a dork. Say, well, okay, so I have to say, so the, the subplot of dork. this episode is, oh, they go to this, like, mansion as, like, Aunt cleaners. Masako. Like, um, and, uh, so there's this one shot where, like, she's explaining to them, like, oh, like, what she does and like where her cleaner is or something and you just see shoma just like running out in the backyard going Whoa! and i'm just sitting there like shoma never fucking change please <laughs> you're too adorable he accidentally uproots a tree from the ground oh yeah he uproots a tree Shatters he knocks over. yeah i love what he i love he's so intense about cleaning it's it's great <laughs> next thing you know her her monkey's gonna have an eye patch on also he like he he like Cracked like a fucking hundred eggs for some reason. <laughs> That's too many eggs. Hoto, you're gonna, eggs you're gonna go into a diabetic coma. Such a good just being like, you're, you're being too much. <laughs> I'm your character arc. <laughs> I need all the eggs can sustain me. <laughs> <laughs> I, no one's gonna get this fucking reference. Eggs for part. <laughs> Um, so our yeah, monster of the week, Simpsons. <laughs> our monster of the week was a very interesting design. It's like a school of fish, so he shoots tiny fish bullets. Also, is it, um, or or is he different from the others? He's um, oh, fuck. That what's that? Pokemon? What's that? What's that fish wishy-washy. that turns into like? That one yeah, wishy washy. Wishy washy. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Like I want, I want to say his design's different from the others. Where like his mouth <laughs> isn't like, like the mouth part is a part of his design, but it's not like right in front of his design. If that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, that thing's so cool. God, such a cool yep. Pokemon. Oh, uh, also oh, we saw that Niev was apparently upgrading. Uh, was upgrading another uh, like Granute, another but we didn't timer. see we didn't see what he was like transforming back into. And I have a theory that it might be the dog Gojizo or dog Granute, <laughs> like the one that I don't know if we're gonna see it this early. Oh, I thought that was the dude from uh from the episode. No, no, no. it was a different guy. Oh. Also, Zumi, or was the wrapping on uh, the artist different from the others because her outline was yellow? All the other outlines we've seen of the captured victims are red. I didn't notice. 
Um, but yeah, like one of the, one of the, yeah. So we get introduced to these two characters. One of them is like a oh, they a come sculptor, different and, the sculptor and an artist and a painter. Yeah, yeah. And the the painter's an asshole. Yeah. I fucking hate him. Tamaki is the painter. Suitsugu the, the <laughs> like, Tamaki is the sculptor. Well, uh, see. Oh, I accidentally broke the arm off. Yeah, it's yeah. She looks, she like grabs the hammer and she looks like pissed off and she's like, oh my god, that's what it's been missing. No, it's just like <laughs> the Venus de Milo. Uh, Etaro asked a question of, wait, what red part do you mean? I just want to, uh, say the red outline on, like, the glass part of the victims, if that makes oh, sense. Oh, the, like, the, 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 the captured place. humans? Yeah, on the captured humans, the outline around them is red, but on hers, it was yellow. Oh. I, didn't, I did not notice if there was a difference. Good job, Gar. Um, yeah, so Hanto and Shoma, each on their own time, come to the gallery and confront the monster. Uh, and then we get Gav fighting the monster in the garage, the parking garage under the museum, I guess. So, the best thing ever was the fucking Choco Dan Goji Zone just comes in, boots the popping gummy out of the Gav, and just kills it to take over. And I'm just like, the fucking bull! on this motherfucker cool so we can now so we can now confirm that the gochizo are now capable of murdering their own kind oh, Cho oh, wow. choco dan and choco don gochizos they just go so hard they're on a different fucking level i the, love the them go the gochizos are like lumas from super mario galaxy they're they just ready for they're ready to accept death they're ready for oh, death also, let's get this out of the way now. I know everyone's going to fucking make poop jokes. Okay. <laughs> them, but, but it's their true. fucking it like paintball fight. Their paintball it fight does. absolutely looked like they were splattering shit all over the walls. It, it and then does. it was even worse when we cut to that shot of the fucking Gochizo sucking it off the wall. I know and I like Gochizo. Oh, this is ridiculous. I know it looks like shit, but literally my whole time watching this fight, I was just going, it's chocolate, it's chocolate, it's chocolate. Look, they, they have a close-up of one of the bullets firing from the gun. It's a, clearly a piece of chocolate. <laughs> but it looks like shit. We're a severely no, dehydrated no. person's shit. What's interesting too is, uh, like, so we already saw this because, like, we saw like a preview when they were showing like Gav before like the show actually started. But like, he transforms into Choco Dan form, which, by the way, like me and Ichi have been saying uh, for like weeks now, it's his best looking form. It's it's fucking Choco great. Dan is Gav's form. best looking form so far, yeah. bar none. But he gets the 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 Choco Don Dan gun, and uh, it starts it's, like, out it's, as like, a, a whole, whole bar of chocolate. Bar. Yeah, and then he takes it. a bite out of it. So, like, did he just... Did he have to do that, or did he just decide to? Maybe that's him clocking the gun. So does that mean that First. if he continued eating it, it would eventually just be completely gone? And never maybe regenerate? He wanted, maybe he wanted to make it more gun-shaped, I don't know. <laughs> I guess. I also... I, I, I'm also... I need you to understand... That I am so I am executing so much restraint and not going on a five minute diatribe about how the fuck is he eating anything with his helmet on? Yep. I mean we've seen yeah, he's a grenade. helmets eat things and yeah he's a grenade. <laughs> if you're gonna do fun. that, show his helmet opening like a mouth, like gills. <laughs> like, like, like we don't have we don't have the bu we don't have the budget for that. They did it in two thousand and one. Yeah, but that was different. That was a different time, man. Different time. That was when we could be experimental. We need more budget for showing floating gummies in a giant Ziploc bag! So anyways, all, all poop jokes aside, the fight between Gav Chocodan form and the Grenou was actually pretty fucking well shot, and I loved every single second of it. Yeah, well shot. Yeah, uh, there were some shots that could have been better. I, I loved the one where they're, like, running down, and, you, like, you could tell they're, like, in between a wall like shooting at each other that was great that was like some john wick shit shit stains aside the fight was entertaining to watch his fucking finisher was dope yeah actually yeah it's pretty good that was a pretty cool finisher oh yeah yeah looking at it with, like looking at it without motion that wall looks bad <laughs> oh, yeah you're not supposed uh, to be looking at it without motion also, I love that the, the, the twins, like the stomach twins, they're just like 
constantly fucking up because they're trying to like keep this whole gab thing under wraps but just all their siblings are just finding out and they're just like you guys are fucking up stop yeah. and they're, the they're like they're like oh man the, the, the femme fatale of the stomach corporation galota is now <laughs> taking center focus and of course everyone has been focusing on that one bit where she kicked honto in the face because i'm sorry that fucking picture of her and shoba yep He's about to fucking punch him. <laughs> what the then, uh, oh yeah, the painter the painter guy sucks because he like throws paint onto Sachika and Sachika's just like she's like, oh look like she's like trying to like uh, be all like nice and everything and then she's like, No, I get what you're saying. I the uh, assumption show, show the, the assumption I think the whole show wants us to make is that he's jealous that uh Tamaki "Quote unquote," found success, even though her version of finding success was getting fucking nom nommed by a grenade. Well, here's the thing that I'm gonna think: what's going to happen? We saw her birthday was in 1999, thanks to her ID being found by Hanto. Yep. I have a feeling it. He is going to be older, and he's gonna feel like jealous and envy that she's finding success he, younger than him, as he's making art. People younger than him are be are getting more success yeah more successful than he than he is when he's putting in the same amount of work yep uh it's also over. i'm just ca- 36 go to those uh, also calling it now with sachiko being covered in paint i'm expecting shoma to come back and like oh you got red paint on you that's not paint shoma oh god <laughs> <laughs> just the entire walls are just like red oh no were red you cracking eggs too ass. Yeah. Come on, Shoma. Let's go back to the office and I'll I'll give you a snack. Oh boy. So uh, then, the episode uh, ends with Valen about to fight Gloda who pulls out this badass looking scythe and the episode ends pretty much there. Yeah, so now next week next episode, which is debuting this week, is when we get the, the proper Gav Valen team up, which I've been looking forward boys. to. Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to that so goddamn much. Damn it, I'm craving chocolate. I I had some Reese's uh, pumpkins earlier, so. Uh, the Choco Bros. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, We're the no, Choco I'm Brothers, actually, and actually, chocolate's our game. I'm actually interested to see how Valen gets his hand on one of the chocolate guns. Like, does he spawn one? Does Gab spawn one for him? Like, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, spandice marketing with their toys. Yeah, not wrong. Just a punch to the face? Yep. <laughs> You're not expecting it to happen. Works on me almost every year. <laughs> Either Unfortunately. or Ryder, or sometimes both. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to Boom Boom. Boom Boom Chinch. Boom Boom time. Boom! Boom Boom! Boom Boom Boom! Let us all pour one out for Mad Rex, who was taken from us way too soon. Uh, Way too too soon? Dude, 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 this is his second death. One more, he gets a free ice cream. (laughs) (laughs) No, but what what was really sad was, like, he wanted to die, and then the the Baboongers actually convinced him, like, oh, maybe I will carry, like, keep, like, carrying on. And then he realized, oh, no, this race literally made that impossible. (laughs) The I'll saddest... never forget you, boom boom. Memory deleted. The saddest thing in the whole episode was that he took off and exploded without saying goodbye to the three seaters. He did. He said ah! goodbye to the bastards. It was so and sad. Then the three are just like, we're gonna find every way to get Mad Rex's memories back. And I'm like, oh. He, and he died in space. Like, I love it too. Like, they kept the realism of space that, like, there's no sound in space. So when he exploded, you. And, oh, and like oh, yeah, the episode, was beautiful. it was so beautiful, and the episode ends with him like exploding in space, and then they just hard cut to the happy fucking ending music, and I'm like, God damn it! No, no, no! I love it. It fades to black. Can we all agree though that Mad Rex is probably one of the best Sentai generals we've gotten in a long time? Oh yeah. I'll just say this: I don't know what it is with Sentai, but they have this tendency where they make like. The middle high end general that has a really cool personality, really strong history with the Red Ranger, cool ass yep. rivalry, dramatic yep. fucking death halfway through the show, and then it comes back at the end. Ladies, that's not your man. That's Death Narok. 
Yeah, but it's probably yeah, also so Mad Rex. <laughs> it's also Wolzard. Yeah. It's it's a lot yeah. of them. You know, I'm, th- I'm thinking about it now. He's better than the five generals that we got in King Oger. Oof. I mean, those are a fun bunch. I loved uh, what's his face. Boo- one of those boys like fucking sing better than King Oger. <laughs> Um, oh, oh no! Oh no! I, I'll fully say I am still fully invested in Boom Boonger. Over King. by this point in King Oger, I was fucking done. Oh, we know, we know you didn't like enjoy King Oger that much. Anyway, so this episode starts with a hard cut into a, a combat with some unimportant reskinned monsters, and then they just pull out fucking Bun Mach Robo Tokyo Custom. So I guess Light just decided to let them keep Tokyo. Yep. Yep. I'm fine with that. Because what the fuck were we doing with it? Well, I mean, oh, we got to promote that new toy line. Yeah, that's exactly gotta, why this gotta is promote happening. That Robo Universe yeah. toy line. That's literally, other shit. Literally, these two mon- reused monsters were literally just to give Sakito something to do while the other main team cooked this whole yeah. episode. <laughs> it's so, so I d- I can't possibly fathom the reason, and at the same time, it's so fucking funny. That they invented the champion power set and did not include Sakito in it. Pretty good, yeah. Oh, oh, oh no, that, oh no, that was full- it's not even in the ending no, that, theme. No, 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 that was fully Boondario being a dick to be, for <laughs> Boondy. <laughs> full on, full on thinking about. It. He's like, oh, what about Sakito? What about Sakito? And, and this also, is the episode where he also was like, Bund- Boondario, you said like you're a good guy, and Boondario's like. No, I'm not such a good guy. I didn't include Sakito yeah. in the champion changer. No, no, he's like, yeah, no, I'm not such a good guy either. And I'm just sitting there leaning closer to my screen. Go on. Oh, yeah, we'll get more of that backstory soon, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm like, huh? <laughs> Watch him be like one of the members of freaking the Hashirians. I think he ha- I think he also... In the whole- <laughs> We posited that forever ago. I think he also used to rely on gasoline. That's also a possibility. I mean, those kind of go That's hand a in possib- hand. You, you yeah, he might, not, he might not be Hashilian, but he might rely on gasoline. Yeah, you know what I'm thinking? Mm-hmm. I'm thinking this whole galaxy race thing. Mm-hmm. Total bullshit. Oh. I don't know. No, I like they're. This. It's a seven no, in the no, chat. Feel- Maybe it wasn't Taya who was the serial killer. It was Bundario the whole time. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. He's like a car robot he was manip- alien being thing. So he was manipulating Taya. <laughs> I still can't believe that's our freaking head cannon thing. That Taya is a freaking <laughs> oh, serial killer. No, yeah. Unfortunately, Mad Rex died uh, in an unfortunate car accident. Where do you think he gets all that meat for that curry? <laughs> Oh no! Also, also, apparently, this race's little shoulder snake thing is a phone. It's a phone. It's also a phone. It's a, it's a phone. I was like, "What's he holding?" And I'm like, "Oh, it's a snake thing that's on his shoulder." Oh yeah, it's like he died in a car accident. No, he didn't. He thing. died riding on a space segment. No, no, I, I know, I know. He's always had the snake thing. I just didn't realize it was a phone. I was like, "Oh." Oh no, I'm just, I'm just picturing Mad Rex. Running away on that thing, going. <laughs> it was Bundario all along. So Gemba finally grows a fucking pair and just something like <laughs> realizes like, oh, no, that's fine. he finally just grows a fucking pair. <laughs> And then no one's there except for fucking Saibu, Saibu and Moon Dorio. And it's like, dude, I'll fucking miss you, dude. Like, you gotta, like, like, oh, what was the, what, they, they kept saying like, like, oh, you gotta find your seat. Okay, no, 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 that was a mistranslation because what they were actually saying was to take back the driving wheel, which they were oh, using yeah, as yeah, a, heard, a like, metaphor heard for like taking like control that. of your life. Yeah, I heard, but they I heard tra- Hondo a lot. They, yeah, they, so. they were mistranslating it as sitting in the driver's seat. But both they were both of those are arguably metaphors for taking control of your life, being in control, sitting in the driver's seat, taking the driver driver wheel. I, I do, I, I do like that. Sorry, I do like when Gemba was talking to Mad Rex later. He's like, "So you found your place to die? The fuck does that mean? <laughs> you sound like you've been talking to a Tokyo. Uh, so I don't really know. Um. 
but yeah so then like they 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 hand over his like because like this is what really sets gemba off is that like Fudorio's like oh yeah like I, I, we made you your jacket dude and like they give him, he gives them the jacket and just he just breaks down he's like oh my god it's like <laughs> you guys I, still care about me and it's like duh i was looking <laughs> at that like, i was looking at that jacket that she gave him and i think that jacket is like thinner material than the champion boom boomer jackets so does this mean that outside of the super form jackets, they have actual jackets that they can wear in real life outside of that the suits? That would horrible as fuck. Uh, yes and no. Well, it was pro- you, you gotta remember. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. a prototype. Maybe. But I think it would be cool uh, if they started actually wearing those jackets unhinged in too. Also, you can tell when uh, when uh, black and I don't know, black and orange are wearing those jackets, they don't have the shoulder piece on underneath. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so yeah, so the rest of the Boom Boom Juice are getting their asses kicked by Mad Rex, and they're about to, like, like, or, like, ties Enter the next dimension. <laughs> and then, literally, Gemba just blocks the fucking Mad Rex's shot with a fucking sewer lid. And I mean, it worked it. last time. I was gonna say, he's done that before, and now we know why he's able to do that. Comes in, in, like, old-school Gemba fashion, and, like, I was sitting there just being like, fuck, yeah, this is the Gemba we know and love. Like, and I, I absolutely damn. love that it, that Ty was like, well, supplier, what are you supplying with us today? And he goes, it me! me. And I was like, oh, I was like, I was like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> I brought you guys the best <laughs> gift of all. The gift of a child's laugh. <laughs> <laughs> And then we get the champion boom boomers, and like it's, they're so fucking cool. I oh, love no, no. that part of the henshin involves literally them all actually putting the jackets on. I fucking so love bad. that. So cool. And after eight episodes, the team is back together again. Yay! Yay! Which means they'll and add Genba you- back to the opening next week. Finally. <laughs> and you heard that right. Eight episodes this went on for two months yep yeah good good i was worried it was only gonna be like a three episode thing. somewhere yep <laughs> so uh we get to see them bust out their new super abilities which involves tapping the emblems of the boom boom cars on their jacket powering up their oh, weapons yeah. with the attributes of said boom boom car we see wagon yep. marine pato 2 classic racing uh, safari and they're all very awesome I wonder what happens if I click the red one. Uh, click the red sim- symbol on the back. Hey, I'm rich. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like to do the he sots, they all have to like pat on the back of uh, like Taya's jacket and then just Gemba's like the last one to kind of like tap in and I was like, that's awesome. <laughs> I love Good that. Good game. Good game. Yeah. Good game. <laughs> I, wonder if, GGs, bro. I wonder if Red can join in with the other rangers to give the he sots to another ranger. Maybe. I I feel like they I feel like they're gonna do that. Each of them yeah. are all gonna have like their own unique thing. Yeah, they're each gonna have a turn to be the one to land the blow. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, Gemba did Safari just like at Wolverine. I, I was expecting like Kamen Rider uh Kamen Rider axe axe fuck tiger. I'm, I'm watching Dragonite. <laughs> tiger. <laughs> uh, t- Kamen Rider Tiger. Tiger with like the giant metal claws, but then it's like, nope, it's just the axe, McCall. Oh, Kamen Rider Axe got the axe. <laughs> uh, he did. And then he came back as a different character, but same actor. It's complicated. We should what probably watch fuck? more Dragon Knight. We should. No. Oh, so damn good. I'm, Told I'm you. so close to finishing it. Anyways. Told you it was uh, good. Right. And you know what? The fight they had in this episode with Mad Rex. I, I like that it didn't end with just another Megazord fight, like a round two. I no. didn't even realize that. There was no Megazord aside from the one with Bune Tokyo Custom at the start. We snuck it in right at the opening. <laughs> you see how shoehorned in that they... they do you yeah. see how much they really care about this new toy line? Yep. It got shoved in at the beginning of the episode. No focus whatsoever compared to, say, like, Cure Eugen in King Odra last season. Where that was a focal point in, in a crossover. Yeah. This one's like, fuck it, we're trains now. Train. Fuck it, we train. Win. Fuck now it, we, we train. An, now all we need is an Air Force Sentai so that we can have, like, planes, trains, and automobiles. 
<laughs> I would have loved for Steve Martin to be in the Power Ranger show as a mentor. Here's an idea. Have a thought. Actually, yeah, uh, the Lupin Rangers vehicles were all auto, uh, like airplanes, like air, yep. like aerial yep. vehicles. Yeah, cool. every 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 uh, oh, what were they called? Dial Trigger. machines. Dial fighters. Dial, dial yeah, all the dial, dial fighters, fighters and were machines. aerial base. Yeah, and all the trigger machines were land based. Yep. See, that, that's how they could have worked in Power Rangers. You didn't need to do the whole cops and robbers thing. Everyone's a fucking idiot when they say that. Yeah. Honestly, I know. Like, we can work with this. Well, my it doesn't have to be cops and robbers. Doesn't, doesn't I mean, the suits do Rangers. look pretty cop and robbery. You can work around it. I don't think you can tweak them. Really mad about that. So anyway, uh, very sad set, but put beautiful send off for Mad Rex. And next week is the debut of the Champion Carrier, and apparently a new villain. Remember, remember, yeah, the, the boss of the Hashirians, apparently. Yeah. yeah, it's the boss. Wait, that's what? the that's the big bad. Yeah, it's the big boss. Why does he is, look like a f- the design is interesting non- monkey? Oh, Shay does, does look like a monkey. He's Wu Kong. <laughs> it like he's got he's son Wu Kong. I don't know. I, I anyway, think the design just, looks interesting. I hope he's just better than Cannonborg because Cannonborg sucked. That is a low bar. <laughs> I thought I thought he was a cannon. <laughs> he's the bar the cannon oh, fires oh, under. Oh, you, oh, you can tell he's evil because he has a he has a glass of wine with him and a staff. Anyway, anyway, champion Boom Boongers, those jackets are fucking fire. They're awesome. They're one of the best, like, Sentai team-up things I've so seen. So happy and, that te- we have a team super form again. Yeah. It, Not it, since it's Kira Major. Minimal- it's minimalistic, if I'm saying that word right. Yes. I hope I am. Yes. Simple. But it works. Oh, we're, yeah. With the, with the theme that this show is going for, 100% works. Well, it, it's also, like, it's... For the theme, it works. I feel like from a meta, per- not meta perspective, from a narrative perspective, it also works. Where it's like, where they all come from different backgrounds with the uniform that they're wearing, it brings them together as we are a team. No a racing team, though. Yeah, they're victory. Five, yeah. seven, eight, and eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, Ryu Soldier. Only 15 teams in all of Sentai have had team power ups? God. Okay, okay, Ryu Soldier shouldn't count. Those are all separate armors. Those are all individual armors. That's just them all using it at the same time. It's not a team power up. Also, Ob Ranger shouldn't count in there because that's uh, that's just a second form that all of them can use. Yeah, that's just Super Dino mode. They had that out of the gate. It's not a super form. Yeah, no, no. A super form is you need a different accessory to transform. I will say this: one of the best team power ups ever in Sentai is fucking like Decker Ranger SWAT. Fuck, it's so good. <laughs> well, you, you know what, guys? I, you know, Ichi did bring up. I am in charge of the schedule. I am in charge of the schedules mm-hmm. of the scheduling the schedule. The the ca- the feature topic schedules. Yes. That's good. I'm thinking of bringing. I'm thinking of bringing back the discussion topic. Oh, maybe a discussion that. topic we can have is what are our personal favorite power ups? Yeah, especially since like uh, time is like a lot of time has gone by since probably last time we talked about this shit. So, our opinions Outside of like changed. the FAQ specials. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, All right. let's get on to the fighter. Oh boy. Uh, oh, oh, what does the B stand for? Oh my god. The B stands for uh, uh, It, it uh, really I, says I, a lot. No, and I think all of, all, all of you will agree with me. The only cool thing in this entire th- like set of three episodes we watched was Schwartz turning into a fucking tank. A Schwartz tank? What the Schwartz fuck? Schwartz tank was the coolest fucking thing in these all three episodes. He decided <laughs> to just quit being human and just be Metal Gear. <laughs> oh, Takia, Takia, Jesus fucking Christ. We'll get to that. Uh, so the f- episode 45 pauses itself as a Christmas episode. But- See, I told you Borgmas was a thing. <laughs> mm. 
And then the half of the episode is taken up by three separate collections of clip show bits. There's yeah, a clip a show clip of the show. early show, then there's a clip show of the Shadowborg, and then there's a clip show of Jamal. It's fighting time! <laughs> oh yeah, the fucking oh, battle Jamal. song. I that love fucking it. kills me. Oh, I've been laughing at that since we started this show. It's the stupidest villain name ever. <laughs> it is I, Jamal. <laughs> J Jerome. <laughs> How y'all doing? So anyway, what should be the A-plot of this episode is while Takuya broods his way alone in the city, he finds a puppy, saves a kid from a car. Oh, no, no, I had a funny joke when he finds the puppy. Just like he picks it up. Wow, you're a furry little furry bug. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of insect are you? What kind of beetle are you? <laughs> Same are you pets. a bug type? <laughs> It's the, it's, so like yeah, so this what? little girl oh, like, this like almost gets run over by a car, and Takia like saves her, and then she's like, "Oh no, you're you're brooch. Yeah, my mom gave it to me for my birthday. Oh my god. Well, I will g go and find the exact same brooch, bring brooch. it to your house, and give it to you for your yeah brooch, and give it to you for as a Christmas present. You promise? I promise. Where do you live, little girl?" <laughs> And she just like says like the Yanagi Ward, and it's just like cool. I'll look for the one house in Yanagi yeah. Ward then, I guess. And then, it's, and then it's bullshit because then like she meets the other two fucking bee fighters, and like they're like, "Oh, Taki is going to your house." She doesn't tell them where where she lives. <laughs> okay, like obviously they're not going to say an actual address because this is television. But it, it's so funny yeah. to consider in universe. But you know that this is the biggest indicator of how old this show is. This is such an indication that this takes place in 1995 and not the present time. The fact that this flew at all. Don't worry, little girl. I'll buy you some jewelry for Christmas. Where do you live? <laughs> I, a strange man that you just met in public, am going to come to your house for Christmas. And your mother will be completely fine with not one, but three strangers coming to your house unprompted. And she was. You know, when you say it, it like that. It shows the fence. <laughs> and then what's what makes but it really okay more awkward. But it's okay because we're superheroes. And then what makes it even more awkward is when the last ninja shows up dressed up as Santa Claus. Oh my god! The shot of the little girl and the professor in his skinny ass Santa Claus outfit standing in the snow <laughs> is the most awkward fucking shot I've seen in any piece of film media. And she and she was like, oh man, it's just Santa. Thank you, Takuya, wherever you are, for buying me this brooch. I thought it was gonna be the blue stinger Beetleborg. I wanted a Beetle Battle Base for Christmas! This sucks! <laughs> so um Bruce also with the little girl also, also while the little girl's walking home, she like passes by Black Beat and she looks up and she's like she's like Takia? No, that's not Takia. Just keeps fucking that's, walking. Okay, like, smart little girl. <laughs> On the one hand, yes, absolute props to this girl for realizing that wasn't actually Takia. But then on the same token, like, doesn't question who this actually is and just keeps walking. But then that cycles back to, yes, smart girl, don't talk to weird, creepy strangers. Yes. Don't talk to strangers. <laughs> yes, the Undertaker cosplayer, maybe even pushing it a little bit, even for 1995. <laughs> yeah, there, there was still such a thing as a creepy man you probably shouldn't talk to on the street. Takuya maybe might not have been the representation of that back then. Ah, Blackbeat, yeah. There's some flags. <laughs> I, Mostly gonna, black flags. I now, I now redub this child Oxy for Oxymoron. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh my god! So Takia, so like like uh, G Stag and Rettle show up before like Takia does, but like she see he sees them like in, through the window of the little girl's house, and I Not guess creepy he, like, at all. He, he hears what they're saying, even though he's far away across the street. They're in a house, yeah. So he shouldn't be able to hear. Those walls he are goes, thin. <laughs> So he just drops off the fucking present, and leaves. Bails. Well, not leaves. He just he's just hiding like across the street, and they're like, "Takia, Takia, come back, Takia." I'm just imagining like, them no. being like, "Let's just pretend that we don't see him hidden behind that one he's, branch." He's absolutely there. not well hidden, just behind this no. thin bush. 
Takuya, we can see you over there. I'm being so, angsty. Takuya, get over here. So, yeah, so basically Takuya feels l like he's lost his sense of justice and he feels he doesn't deserve to be a bee fighter because he's like, oh, I brought Black Beat into the world. He's, he's so evil and stuff. I, I, I don't deserve to be a hero. And so he's just he like, is my like, son. And I was just like, this for like, like half episodes. And I'm sitting here like, okay, David Banner, go find yourself some train tracks. Jeez. <laughs> So episode 46 is the debut of probably the most uh, offensive term I've ever heard from a tokusatsu, the Jamal Hole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just imagining like one day they wake up and it's like the, like, uh, the, the red beetle Borg has been kidnapped and it's just like they just get a text message from Jamal later. She's busy, so, little bro. <laughs> yeah. So their, their big overall plan is, okay, we're going to suck up all this energy from, like, Earth to power the Jamal hole, and then we'll turn Earth into a dead planet so that St. Papelia has no choice but to come and try to save the Earth, and then they'll capture St. Papelia. Yep. Because St. Papelia Schwartz only shows up after the planet is fucked. And then Schwartz what? just decides on his own, oh, I'm going to take this dead planet and make it a mechanized planet and m make me the mecha emperor of this planet. And I'm like, L good luck, Schwartz. <laughs> I best of luck to you, buddy. <laughs> what a fucking plan. Hey, go for it, buddy. Bastard. I, wish you, I wish you luck. Yeah. We also got some interesting oh. things from the generals this week. We got to see Jira, uh, her human form, I guess. But then, I like to think that was her suit actor. I love that I both that. times in turning into the human form and then putting the mask back on, <laughs> both times well, involved tearing a layer of clothing off. Hang on, you know what she... Oh, freaking... Um, yeah. what, what was, what what was her name? Me. Hang on. What? That um, fucking killed me. Like, it's just... <laughs> what? <Watch off. laughs> now I have a mask on. Yeah, <laughs> here he... Ow! Jamal. Yeah. You know, I was wondering why she looked so familiar, and it's I'm the like, the power of the I'm Jamal like, hole. Well, Gary will probably like find this funny. She looked like fucking Yellow Four, like the original oh my God. Yellow Four. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The first time I saw yeah. her, my brain's immediate response was Rosa from Brooklyn Nine Nine. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, I would love, I would love <laughs> Stephanie Beatrice to be a freaking Power Ranger. That'd be the best thing ever. <laughs> I want her as She Hulk. Quick. Apparently, we don't get what we want. <laughs> I, I'm she hoping that, I'm hoping this is the right character so this reference makes sense. I've only met this Beetleborg just now, but if anything happened to them, I would kill everyone and then myself. That is exactly yes. right. Yes. Awesome. Good job. <laughs> you watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine, it's a really good show. Really funny. Um, oh, Judy! So, so uh, Daisaku and Mai confront Schwartz and uh, Gigero, or as I like to call him, Super Typhus, in his brand new super form. Uh, That's pretty cool. They so they hench in and then they get their powers sucked up by the, yep. by the device thing, and then the oh. show has the fucking gall to have them try and transform a second time using the exact same footage. <laughs> yeah, what did you think they were gonna do? <laughs> Shoot more footage? Like I know stock <laughs> footage is a thing for the sake of saving costs, but Jesus Christ, guys. <laughs> I feel like they put you couldn't have taken a B take from a different angle. I feel like they took, no. put a lot of money into the suits, man. So I, 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 also, I also find it really, I also find it really, really fucking funny that like Takia is spending this whole time walking around brooding and stuff, and because Blackbeat is a clone of him, he's also just walking around <laughs> brooding. Even goes back to his his brooding spot on the fucking ocean. <laughs> I'm like, there's, all right, buddy, Jesus Christ. There's even, I forget when it happens, but there's even a part where they like brood past each other, like in parallel lines, but just out of each other's sight. Yeah, and like some... Jamal just wanted like Jetta to do something. So it's like, uh, go, go kill Blackbeat. I don't go give kill a the shit. traitor. She's like, she's like, you got it. <laughs> She accidentally finds Takia because he happened to cloak himself in a black cloak, making him look like he's Shadow. <laughs> the timing on that shit was so funny. I was like, okay. <laughs> also, I just want to make oh, a quick yeah. mention that Super Gigero's weapon looked like a fucking Keyblade. Also, yes. the top of his head, his top of his head opened up, and that scared me. Also, he had titty <laughs> missiles. <laughs> yes, he also. Yeah, uh, Rest uh, the fire. 
Giga Blasters. Oh, that's what it is. Giga Blaster. Giga <laughs> Smashers. Love you, Middle Greymon. Metal Typhus. <laughs> I love you yeah. call them by their, like, fetal board yeah. names. I, so much, you know, I can't <laughs> always remember their Japanese names. It's hard. It's Jera, oh, Gigaro, and to Schwartz. Schwartz. Wait, wait, wait. Gigaro. Gigaro, Gigaro, Gigaro. Gigaro, Gigaro. Gigaro, Gigaro. I like my version better because it has my name in it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I so, mean, yeah, they Gar is in Gigaro. So oh, they try to true. confront Takia and they like give him his his beetle bonder. <laughs> <laughs> and he just like he tosses to the ground. He's like, no, no! and what? If, and you don't deserve to be a B fighter anymore. It would have been so funny well, if dude, he accidentally smashed bandage. it. Those things are cool though. I, I just love that there's one scene where Takia sees like, or it might be Takia, it might be someone else, but like he sees an ambulance park and like a kid being wheeled out of it, and the kid's like. Why? Why didn't B Fighter come and save us? Ah! <laughs> Especially the blue one! Especially Bart! <laughs> oh, I hereby attribute all fault from this encounter to Blue Bee! <laughs> Takia walks up to the mother. What happened? Oh, he, he was skateboarding, he accidentally hurt himself. <laughs> It actually wasn't Jamal. He just got really got completely really unrelated. It's just completely unrelated. He's just a really entitled kid who expects the Beetleborgs to show up and help him with anything. Yep. He, this, he, this he, is where, he's this the is kid where... at school that says that he knows the Bee Fighters. They're, they're like this, where his fingers are crossed. Like, they're like, we're like this. He's the See, Johnny, his... Armani, my, Johnny Armani, my dad knows him. He's the kid who says my dad works at Nintendo. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is where Kabuto should have come back and helped them for a bit until they got their shit together. That would have, that could have been interesting. Yeah, but right? Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> Kabuto's not in the rest of the so show. Any, so anyway, for some <laughs> fucking reason, episode 46 ends with Takia hitchhiking with some random trucker who passes him by. Can you say Blue Beat? I just squashed your beetles. Blue Beat, I just squashed your beetles. Ah! <laughs> say the line. <laughs> say the line, Blue Beat. <laughs> Um, so yeah, episode 47, Schwarz <laughs> says he's going to quit Jamal. That was the funniest shit. Yep. Uh, blah, 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 we confront Takia again about being a whiny little bitch. <laughs> it's through. Then we finally get oh. them all three together, we get to see them all henching together for the first time in so many episodes. It's okay. And that's when and the fucking fight. Schwartz battle tank happens. Yeah, no, that was the best thing in these all the three of these episodes were the fucking battle tank. It was sick. There was one shot in that fight that I had to go back and do a double take on. There's one shot where G Stag and Rettle like dodge to the side, and if you look at the background, it's not actually the tank coming at them. It's a screen with a picture of the tank <laughs> on it. Yeah, I noticed that. Do you, have a, do you have a screenshot of this? I didn't notice. Like, did they just get lazy and decide to push the green screen for a bit? <laughs> like, we can't also, feasibly make it move in exactly the right way that we want to. We couldn't eh, afford to move the tank, so we just took a picture of it. And eh, just sword. push the green oh. screen. Oh. Also, Black Beat, like, tells the three generals, it's just like, you know Jamal's just, like, playing you guys for, like, a fucking fiddle. He doesn't give a shit about what you no, uh, Jamal loves me! Go on. <laughs> We're like this. <laughs> Another shot in this episode that I, I almost killed myself laughing, and I had to go back and rewatch, like, three times. So Jera confronts Shadow and starts, like, yep. fighting him. And yep. there's a shot where, like, she like attacks him with her fucking drildo dagger. <laughs> and like, so she attacks him and then it cuts to him and he's standing there unhenchened. And then there's just, poof, there's like a poof of smoke. And when it's gone, he's just standing there in the armor, having not moved or spoken or done a thing. So, it, no, no, so it, the no, implication like is that. that she whipped him so hard with her drildo that he like, poof, 
is now henchened. Either that, or I the like implication that, is though. she just happens to have a bullet that causes him to henchen. Yeah, you. Paul's first interpretation was she sh- attacked him with something that made him henchen. <laughs> like a henching bullet. And I'm just like, why do you have that? <laughs> but oh I just love God. that this is like snapped, like, <clears throat> now I'm henchened. <laughs> <laughs> it was hey, it was at least nice and clean sure and then, like, typus, typus still like decides to like show undying loyalty and then lord goem's just like oh that's cool dude anyways i'm gonna kill you now and he like basically no, 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 like, like before that before that like so like gigaro slash typhus in his super form is like i'm gonna show my supreme loyalty by killing you and then blue beetleborg goes into his super form and goes are you sure you want this smoke motherfucker all right <laughs> points the gun at him blasts him but i need you to start praying all night because i'm gonna have to get the smoke <laughs> i'm gonna send you to ag double hockey stick land because that's where evil courtesans go <laughs> Not down there. <laughs> Not down. All the way down there. All the way. Everyone, please check out Matt Curtin on TikTok if you like My Hero Academia. Fucking funniest shit I've seen in so long. All right, Class 1A, let's fuck this up. <laughs> uh, Yeah, so Gigaro survives getting beetle blasted, barely, and then Gollum just goes... Let me give you the ult, your eternal reward. reward. <laughs> and literally sucks his soul out of him and melts his body down. Yeah, so like you yeah. see like eventually just like a, like half of a fucking charred skeleton remains of him. And I'm like, holy shit. And eventually <laughs> just like with a simple mic- Windows Movie Maker fade effect just vanishes completely. And I love the fact that like, and I love the fact that uh, Blackbeat is just like, see? Betraying, betraying his people and just taking power from himself, that's Garom. And I'm just like, oh yeah, leaving you a bunch of paperwork on your desk five minutes before closing, that's Garom. And pickles in, his egg, pickles in his egg salad, that's Garom. That's Garom. And, and then Jenna just feels so betrayed. She's like, hey, Blackbee, I have nothing left. Do you want to team up? Yeah, sh- all right. <laughs> oh, is that what we're calling this? No, like actually team up. Oh, okay. I was fully expecting, like, he, like, she, like, reached her hand out to, like, do a handshake to, like, cement the alliance, and he reaches up with the hand with the plot feather in it, and I was half expecting her to just yoink it and bail. Uh Uh-huh. I can't can't believe you fell for the oldest trick in the book! Come on, man! with you, man! Come on! What sucks is, too, is, like, I was trying to, like, I, I was enjoying how, like, serious that scene was. But then you remember that, like, Jetta's design, she has, like, no pupils? Yep. So, like, they have a close-up of her face, and she just has, like, red circles for eyes. And I'm just <laughs> like, ah. <laughs> and then, <laughs> so, and then, like, Gollum appears, like, giant in the sky, as he does, having evolved. And, like, we see a shot of, like, the three Beetleborgs standing there in their human forms. And for, for some reason, my mind just flashes back to the end of the Mortal Kombat movie. Just, you fools, I've come for your souls! I don't think so. Or G-R-O-O, fuck fools, I've come for your holes! Out. Your Jamal holes! <laughs> Wait, not like that! <laughs> so yeah, even though they blew up the fucking Schwartz tank in this episode, apparently the following episode involves Schwartz living on as a floating head that starts possessing people, including a child... And a bride. Creepiest fucking yeah, thing I've ever seen. Could be worse. Could be a child bride. <laughs> Japan could happen. In 95? I mean, you're not In card wrong. captors. Hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we don't no, like to talk about it. <laughs> and I also love how the, the shot the episode ends on. It, like, it's supposed to be like a metaphorical thing, but it, like it shows the three B-fighters like in human form as they're turning around to go home. And then it just superimposes a shot of Gollum like giant in the sky with his claw. And I'm just like, oh no, he's right behind you! <laughs> and then you just hear their necks uh, snapping as the screen poop. fades to black. <laughs> he's gonna put you in the Gollum zone! <laughs> Fix the divot! <laughs> oh my fucking god, why is this show? Just... Just why? Why is this show? You want you want to know the sad part? I don't mm. know that I do, but go ahead. 
we were all excited for watching B Fighter Kabuto. Uh-huh. But I, I heard I heard one review of it and I was Where's like, nope. It? It's the exact same bullshit. Oh like it's with like, four B fighters. <laughs> it's just it, it's it's apparently less less from B Fighter. It, okay. it gets worse. Okay, here's the thing. Hey, wow. If we are going to talk about it at all, I'm going to put my foot down and restrict us to the opening episodes, arguably at most, and only the episodes where the Astral Borgs show up. Yeah, like, I know the, the, the dra- Dragon Borg in B-Fighter Kabuto is like a white guy, so, like, that's <laughs> yeah. interesting. Which yeah, is yeah, hilarious, so, because so, he's fucking Sean Connery in the Beetleborg stuff. Yeah, yeah, so I guess I guess we can confirm... This is the end. Borktober 4 is going to be the last of Borktober. Thank God. We still have one more week, though. We have one more week. The and I know, you guys were all, I know you guys were all like, oh, man, I don't think I can do more B, more B Fighter. You motherfucker. Uh, Ichi, Ichi, may I? You motherfucker, I just looked at what you wrote. <sighs> Jikai Radio Sentai Cast Ranger. For the last week of B Fighter, Bork, or for the last week of Borktober, 48, 49, 50, and 51. Four episodes! God, alright. Absolutely not. <laughs> That's my third Oh, my night. union. <laughs> oh, God. Why must October be a month of suffering? <laughs> You know what? It's it's okay because it's gonna be it's gonna be like either really cool or shit, and we'll have a lot to discuss. So Someone just mentioned God. a crossover, just, and I was like, "No, shut the fuck it's up!" It's gonna be really I'm cool. Just, I'm just glad or Emily's shit. not here to have to suffer through this with us. She wouldn't anyway. <laughs> no. Yeah, she, yeah. She doesn't even watch the feature topic. She doesn't watch feature topic in as far back as I can remember, which is not far. Anyway, anyway thank you all. That is Cast Stranger for the week. Uh, shout out to our currently active patrons, which includes Blaze, Armor Hide, Sentai VT, Vegas Bear, and Jacket Plier. Thank you very much for supporting what we do. Thanks, guys. Thank you. As Thank you always, the primary source of our hijinks is castranger.podbean.com. From there, you can find our Facebook, Twitter, Discord, Patreon, merch store, all of our cool shit. Let us know what you thought of these episodes in the description. Let us know what other topics you would like us to discuss in the near future, despite the fact that Gar has a strangling chokehold over that schedule. No, I don't. <laughs> Gar is turning blue in the face. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, We're doing SPD next year. Don't worry. All right. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you all for listening, watching, liking, favoriting, sharing, subscribing, hitting the bell, and being awesome. And we will see you next week. <sighs> More borked over. Night Kill me. Night, everybody. Get us out of here. All the authorities. <laughs>